They're a, they're a good therapeutic mushroom. Psychedelics like psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, are increasingly being studied as a way to treat mental illness. A clinical trial in Canada is studying the impact of microdosing, taking a psychedelic at subhallucinogenic levels. Advocates like John Sayer say microdosing has helped alleviate his PTSD symptoms. I had a pacemaker installed about 17 years ago and I started getting defibrillated while I was conscious and then I got in a near fatal accident five years ago and uh, I'm getting through it because of microdosing. Research appears to show that psilocybin in higher doses opens new pathways in the brain, which can disrupt entrenched thoughts and help those suffering from PTSD or depression. Grind up the but research on microdosing has only begun to emerge, meaning studies like this are crucial. We're going to use several different uh, measures of depression and we want to be able to compare the effect we find to those that other studies find. The psilocybin comes from a BC lab specializing in psychedelics. We are making our drug substance and our drug product out of a single strain that we've developed. And so we've chosen and bred our strain to give us the parameters that we, we like. Participants receive two milligrams, about 10% of a so-called therapeutic dose. We were just basing it on what we had from people reporting uh, that they were doing. But the dose that people are using is very inaccurate. For this clinical study, Rotem and his team also want to look at the impact psilocybin has on things like sustained attention and creativity. What you need to do is withhold your response whenever you see the number three. But what we expect will happen is that when people microdose, their performance will degrade less. Mm. <laughs> the team's hypothesis is that the low dose of psilocybin will provide a mental boost without being intoxicating. But to test that, they'll use the same sobriety tests police use in the field. Such studies are part of a promising new chapter in psychedelic research that could lead to exciting new treatments. This psychedelic renaissance is a really interesting moment. They allow us to think differently about our relationship to you know, how we measure these kinds of experiences, how we evaluate them. Rotem says the next step, depending on the results of this trial, is to replicate its findings. Alyssa Julie, Global News. This would be the equivalent amount of mushrooms uh, that you would need for a therapeutic dose, 25 milligrams of psilocybin. As you can see, it's a decent amount of, of mushrooms.